In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can stream or record a portion of your screen and what you see and hear on your screen. To do this, first of all, you will need to download the free OBS Studio, which allows you to stream and record uh, for free. It's a pretty cool program, so I recommend it. Download it, and then once you've downloaded it, in this scenario, I'm going to demonstrate how you can record and stream part of a Zoom meeting. Uh, I have to do this for my work. I know that Zoom has capabilities to record and to live stream, but this allows me to have a little bit more control about what is being streamed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. So once you have OBS Studio installed, you're going to open up your Zoom meeting link. And I'm going to click and open it up. And so now it has my Zoom window. I'm going to leave this open for right now until my host, which is also me, lets me in. And I'm just going to move this off to the side. Now I'm going to open up OBS. And so I have OBS Open Broadcaster Software. It looks like this. Um, I'm not going to go through all the details of what you can do with OBS, but it is a very powerful free tool. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is create a source and that source is going to be this window here. To create that source, I click on the plus sign and I'm going to choose Window Capture. And I click on Window Capture, I'm going to create new and I'm going to call it Zoom. I click OK. And now it actually brings up and it brings me to the window that I have open which is this window here. If you have multiple windows open at once, it may have a list of different windows here. I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. It says capture method. I'm just going to leave it everything as is. I can choose to turn on or off the capture cursor. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I don't need to see that in there. And I'm going to select OK. And now what this does is it's going to put my screen inside there. I can make this bigger so that it fills up the entire screen by simply clicking and dragging. What I recommend doing is if you have a dual monitor set up is to move this window over to the next monitor and then making it full screen and this will allow you to uh, make sure that it's the full size. I'm going to go ahead and just stretch this out though so it fills in approximately the space that I need it to. And now I can make it bigger. Oh, I think I've made it too big. Anyway, this is going to take some adjusting. This is why I recommend if you have uh, dual monitors to just simply set this up on the second monitor. For right now, demonstration purposes, I will just set it right here so that we can see. But again, if you have dual monitors, I put it on the second monitor and I just fill the monitor. That way I can also get the resolution correct and I don't have to worry about making sure that everything is right. For this demonstration though, this will work for what we need to do. Okay, so I have the, uh, the video set up there. And I can see this is my source, it's set up. The next thing I need to do is make sure that there's desktop audio, which is here, you can see it. And so for the desktop audio, I like to just test just to make sure that there is some audio coming from this. I usually just go to YouTube. And inside of YouTube, I just find some sort of music to play. And I can hear it coming through my speakers. Um, and I'm just going to check here. I can see that the audio is coming from here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just pause that. I don't need to keep hearing it. And I do that just to make sure that I have audio. I do this ahead of time before I'm in the Zoom meeting just to make sure that everything is set up and that it will work correctly. The next thing I do is I go and I set up my... Uh, streaming and recording by clicking on settings and if I go to where it says stream I stream to YouTube so I go to choose YouTube it has a couple of different choices here and then I add my stream key in here that you can get when you're logged in to YouTube so I have that and then I also click on output and I choose how I want to record it and then when my event starts I can simply click start streaming and it starts streaming and it starts recording at the same time and it's recording and it's showing me the quality of my computer's processor and what's going on. So I have everything streaming, I have it recording, I don't really have anything set up right now so I'm going to just stop this uh, because I don't have it 
set up anywhere. But if you do that, it will then send the signal to your YouTube channel and it won't stream until you click live on your YouTube channel. Once you have this connected, uh, you connect with your host for the Zoom meeting. And here I'm connecting with myself. And I'm going to go ahead and join with the computer audio. which I have to mute so that I don't get feedback here. And so now I have um, my meeting started and I'm gonna just turn on a video here so you can see here's the video of me in my lovely office. Um, and so here's the video. What I like to do once I have this set up inside of um, OBS is I like to switch my view. I usually switch it to full screen. Again, this is on another monitor but I'm gonna go in full screen now just so you can see what I would do on the other monitor. Uh, normally you're gonna see all the tiles at the top or the valor, valor, gallery view. I recommend just making it full screen and then minimizing this. That way you can move this down out of the way and you can just see who's talking but you don't see everyone on there. If you want to see everybody on there, you can. Um, that's just a preference that I have for the way that we stream it. And so once you're done doing that, um, and again, you can adjust the window so that it fills the correct aspect ratio. And this is much easier if you have it fit to a different monitor. Now the nice thing about this is I can move this window around and because it's capturing just that window, it's going to be fine. Now it's gonna be fine if I move this around. Now the, the quality is going to be lower because my window's lower on the screen. So I can make this much bigger but it's going to throw out my settings out a little bit. This is why I recommend that you go through, you get everything set up before the meeting begins. And once the meeting begins, you simply click start streaming and recording, and then it will take it and it will send this out to YouTube where you can press live on there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the meeting. And now that I've left, when I'm done, I could just click stop streaming, stop recording, and I can find where that file is saved. If you need to find where your file is saved, you simply click on settings and you go to output and your file will be saved at this location here. All right, I hope that's helpful in figuring out how to stream and or record a portion of your screen for things such as a Zoom meeting.